I applied the magnetic suspension coils. If I remember, I think this should be like 450 turns or more. And I applied it to it, so. And I have one at the bottom, which is at the edge of the luminary shell. See how the luminary have iron in between the coils? So that's a luminary solenoid. And then this is the uh, magnetic suspension coil. That will cause it to lift it to the ear. I have one that's alongside the edge. And uh, see the flux wire, which is the metal wire. And I have a aluminum rod within it. So it allows the entire system to move uh, that way. Then I'm, gonna have, then I'm gonna have it move upward. So I have to add a coil, an iron coil around here and around the bottom edge and around within the central. And then I'm adding another coil within the central, another copper coil. And the latch here on the other side is at the bottom. So I'm adding the latch to attach to other different materials. <laughs> portion of the N3 centric uh, sodium centric so I can create the quartz crystal here within segment so obviously I'll have to coat this with I have to cover it with um, how can I say plastic wrap and then I would have to paint coat it with silicon silicon uh, sil silicon I mean silicon or uh, silicone um, masking casting once I do that I like cure then I poke a hole through it and this will be all be in a rubber and once I poke a hole through it I will fill it with uh, N3 sodium centric and that will allow me to create, that will allow it to cure. I will drop a seed in there and cure and harden as a quartz crystal. Then I will cut it out of the rubber and take it out and sand it and do everything else I have to do with it. Um, and then I may add the, <clears throat> then I may add the iron on top of it. So, I'm going to drink more in and I'll be back. Goodbye. Oh, okay, and I'm back. This is the bicep and this is the forearm part. I have to do the second part, which is the tricep in the bottom of the forearm. Um, what I did was I added the iron coil, flux wire, and I separated on both ends. I added another magnetic suspension coil, which is at the bottom of the rim. And I added, see that? That's where the iron wire is localized, which is the second one right here. This is at the bottom of it. And then the following one that follows it. And another one, and here is the linear solenoid motor that moves this way. Now, I do not have the metal rod, iron rod in here, but I am going to put the aluminum rod between here. I have here, I'm going to cover it with a plastic wrap and then hold it and let it cure. And then what I'm going to do is poke a hole in it through the rubber and through the plastic wrap so I can get to the surfaces to pour on the N3, sodium N3, which is a portion, a liquid portion of quartz crystal, and it is a, a sodium seed. And what it does is it restores the quartz crystal to a hardened state. So it's like a liquid quartz. And that's what's going to add in. When I, when I finish with it, I'm going to cut out the rubber. If it cures, cut out the rubber, and there it should be coated in quartz crystal. Now for the auto resizing, um, this is going to be used as an actuator. Here I have a pancake motor. I have a flux. I have a coil. I have another flux. I have a coil and I have another flux. This is an iron steel flux. Here I have a linear motor actuator. I have a flux and I have a coil. I have a flux and I have a coil. I have a flux and I have a coil. I have a flux and I have a coil. I have a flux and I have a coil. Now in between the flux, this is an aluminum flat bar. It's a flat solenoid bore. And the exhibit, the linear motor should move on a smooth surface as far as the bore. The bore is a flat bar. This flat bar, which then connects to a chain linkage of flat bars for bioxyl ROMs bearing either latches or bearing either servos to control each additional part. Each part is to operate as either a linear motor and an actuator in a vertical position of the body armor of Mark 42. So when order resizing and connecting and transforming back to the body, have a block here and a block here. Still creating the gauntlet. This is a different uh, type from the electrochemical battery one. It has a solenoid linear motor and pushes upward, the kinetic energy pushes upward, where the actuator to push it back to the coil that's in the back, 